On today's episode of Glow Trotting with Trey, I have you a treat. Elvis Presley and Dewey Phillips and a pretty girl. Well, today, you're going to meet that pretty girl. I found her, and she's going to share what happened that day in her life and what Elvis was signing. It's going to be a great show. New Elvis history today on Glow Trotting with Trey. Stay tuned. Is this uh, Miss Kessling? It is. Hi, Miss Kessling. My name is uh, Trey Miller. And who I am, I have a YouTube show where every week I do a new episode on Elvis Presley. And what I'm calling about, I'm hoping that you are the lady that I'm looking at a picture with Elvis. Sign- yeah, you got it. I got it. I, I got it. I'm so happy. <laughs> How did you find me? Well, okay. I, it's, a, it's a little story, and I'll tell you about it. I, I Do you know the picture I'm talking about? I do. Well, I'm I, sitting with Elvis and Dewey, Press, uh, Dewey Phillips. Dewey Phillips. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And so how I found this picture during Elvis' birthday week two, two weeks ago, a, right. gir- a girl brought us a scrapbook that she found in a house in some neighborhood close to Graceland that a lady kept all the, all these articles about Elvis back there, then in 1955, 56. Right. And your picture is pasted on one of the pages in the uh, scrapbook. Oh, my goodness. And I'm reading it here. It says, why is Elvis? He's signing a postcard to Governor uh, Clement asking the governor to, to get behind the move supporting university status for Memphis State College. That's right. Dewey Phillips, WHBQ disc jockey, signed a card too for Judy Craner, the Delta Zeta sorority president, which is you, who asked them to join 20,000 postcard signers. Presley said he was happy to help the college. Dewey oh, said, right. cool man, you cool. The whole article. I only kept the picture. I don't have the whole article. Well, what I'm going to do is, after we talk today, I'm going to get you an email, and I want to send you this. Um, okay. So you can have this uh, picture and article and show everybody. But uh, I, I would just like to learn about this. I would like to learn about how this happens and any kind of stories you have that with Elvis when y'all were taking this picture or anything you can tell me. Okay. Uh, so I'm, I'm amazed that you found me, actually. Well, we, like I said, I have a show called Globe Trotting with Trey, and every uh, week I have a new episode on Elvis, and I'm, I'm looking for people that actually knew Elvis, that actually had a picture with Elvis that I can find, and I found your name, so I started uh, researching you, and I, I tracked you back down uh, to, um, uh, I, I believe, Memphis. I think I put Memphis in there. And yeah. I said, you know, this has to be the lady, and I actually went to your Facebook page, and I saw your picture, and I said, that's her. That's her. I, I so I I had to I had to give you a call, Miss Craner. <laughs> well, I'm glad, I'm glad you did. Yeah, uh, probably not too hard to find. And I'm still alive and kicking. That's a long time ago, but that picture was taken uh, in 1956 or 57, I think. Does that got the, Does it have a date on it? It, I'm looking right here. Let me see if I can find a date. I'm not yeah, seeing. I, gra- I graduated from the state in 1958. 1958. And that was taken the year, I think it was 57, the summer of 57, I think. Well, by the. So I was the first class. I was the first class to graduate from the university. Before that, it was Memphis State College. Okay, and that's what it's titled in this article. It says uh, Memphis State College. So it looks like you guys are, Elvis is signing a petition to the governor, correct? That's that's right. It's a postcard. Yeah, it was a postcard. And uh, we went all over the city trying to get uh, enough signatures to send to the legislature to uh, make us a university. And they did it, but that was the publicity piece. So, uh, yeah, but that was, uh, and it said I'm president of Delta Zeta Sorority, and that was true, but the reason I'm in the picture 
because I was also uh, editor of the uh, Tiger Rag, which is our newspaper, was the newspaper back then. Okay, so yeah, so you definitely got in that picture. (laughs) Yeah, so they they wanted somebody in that picture, and it was a Saturday afternoon, and I was still working on the newspaper, and they came by my little office there at the college and said, Hey, we got to have somebody go have their picture taken with Elvis. You up to it? <laughs> and I said, What? <laughs> and so I did. <laughs> so uh, you really have the purpose of the picture. So um, I actually kind of grew up in one of the neighborhoods that Elvis lived in way back then. Okay, what neighborhood was that? It was before Graceland. I'm trying to think of the name of the road, but it had great big. Um, Gates with music notes on it. Yeah, yeah, that's Grace. Uh, that's Graceland. No, there was another one before that. That would be the Aldebaran House where he lived at um, in fifty fifty end of fifty five fifty six. Before he. Yeah, I'm trying to think if he was even. I'd have to look at. I don't remember the name of the street, but it was in a uh, fairly. Uh, Affluential residential area in Memphis. Yeah, that's probably the Aldebaran community right there. Uh, maybe that's what it was called. And I live not too far away from that. Yeah, because um, the um, really close to there is the, um, I guess Memphis, uh, probably the college is not too far away from that community, right? I mean, Memphis uh, um, s- State. No, it was, it was a pretty good ways out. I think it was off of Park Avenue. I'm, you know, testing my memory here. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Um, <laughs> I surprised you. Uh, I know. I knew I was going to surprise you with this. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so if he was. Um, yeah. Anyway, so I grew up kind of in the neighborhood, but uh, I'll tell you about the first time I ever saw Elvis. Okay. Yeah. I want to hear that. Okay. So it was in nineteen fifty-four, I think, before he was famous. Okay. Before he went on Ed Sullivan, so you probably know what year that was. Yeah, that would be 54, 54, 55, somewhere in there. Okay, Okay. so this was before that. And so a bunch of my girlfriends called me, and they said, hey, there's a new shopping center opening up in Memphis, and there's this this guy that's going to sing that night, and it's his name is Elvis Presley <laughs> and I said we gotta go they said we gotta go see him and I said well who is he <laughs> oh he I'd never heard of him right never you... heard of him he wasn't famous yet right right so we all piled in cars and went out and it was in Memphis it was on Park Avenue and it's a big opening of a shopping center and one of the uh uh, main stores in it was called Cat's Drug Store. Cat's Drug Store on Lamar, Lamar Airways. Yep, you got it. Yes, got ma'am. It, that one. Okay, and it's like, like a cor- on a corner. I'm trying to think. I, I'm, I can envision, envision it in my mind. I left Memphis many years ago. but And so we went, and there wasn't a big crowd because nobody hardly knew who he was. Yeah, he was just starting out at this point. He was just starting out, and so... His stage was the back of a hay wagon. A hay wagon, okay. A hay wagon, yeah. <laughs> so we listened to him sing, and one of the songs, I think one of the songs he sang was Hound Dog, I think. Hound Dog, that's that's incredible. How, <laughs> how, did, how did y'all react to him that night? I mean, did you did you all like, I like this guy. Did you become a fan? Um, um yeah, in a way, we came up, became a fan. We weren't like crazy, what do they call it? We weren't like a groupie or anything <laughs> like that. <laughs> no, we liked him. We bought all his records and listened to his music, watched him on Ed Sullivan's show, um, that type of thing, and kind of followed his career. Uh, probably two reasons. I mean, we did like a lot of the songs that he sang. Hound Dog would be one. Blue Moon of Kentucky, another one. Um we really didn't like it too well when he got in the movies. <laughs> that yeah. Particularly. Yeah, they, they put in him those in, early, in those early years. Yeah, those early years are him. those are my favorite years to, of Elvis's life and his career because it's just fascinating 
where he he started from and what he he became. Right, exactly. And, and um, believe it or not, he would go uh, to different parties around Memphis, and these were parties of the you know early mid fifties, so fifty five, fifty six, maybe even maybe before he became famous. And so we'd be at a, at a party at somebody's house, and he'd pop in. Okay, well. Wow. <laughs> he, he would just pop in. And he was very nice, very polite. Now, did I know him personally then? No, but I, you know, I would be at a party where he'd show up, and everybody, you know, welcome him, and he'd talk to everybody, and then he'd leave. And then he'd leave. And this yeah. is when people, this was when people knew him as Elvis the Singer. When yeah. he was just starting to blow up around uh, Memphis and the, that um, and, part of this. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So, uh, but when I went and had my picture taken that day down there at the radio station, is where it was taken. Okay. Where Dewey Phillips uh, had, he was a big disc jockey back in the day. Um, yeah, we met, and we chatted a little bit. Um, I don't remember about anything specifically. Certainly polite. I was only there probably 30 minutes to most. Wow. So it wasn't like I made a lifelong friend. Or anything. But uh, Elvis and Dewey, t- you talked with them. You, you, you did. I did. Yeah, I did. We talked. Yeah. You know, I think they asked me something about, I think Lord Dewey asked me the questions. Um, and then maybe he would, con- Elvis would comment. But, he you know, he'd say, oh, what are you doing at Memphis State? Or what, you're, what, what classes are you taking? And actually, I was a journalism major back in then. So, he, uh, you know, and then Elvis would say something and I'd say something. So, it was that kind of a conversation. Oh, that's great. That's great. I mean, it's, so, it's such an iconic picture because you're in a picture with Elvis and Dewey Phillips. And mm-hmm. Dewey, Dewey's the one that plays Elvis's That's All Right Mama the first time ever on the radio. That's right. So I've I mean, forgotten that. Yeah, that was a good song too. So this this is a very iconic picture, and when I when I saw it, I was like, I've got to find you. I've got to find well, you. You found me, and uh, I'm alive and kicking after all these years. Yes, ma'am. I think Elvis and I were about the same age. I, I think he was born what 1935. Okay, and I was born in thirty six. Yeah, so yeah, so wow, so y'all were just you were just kids. <laughs> we were kids. Yeah, you were just exactly. kids. Because exactly. like I'm looking at this picture, and by what Elvis looks like, and knowing he was around Dewey, it, to me this could have been like late fifty five, early fifty six. To it could be in fifty five. I mean, you you were you in college? No, it wasn't fifty five. I think it. It had to be fifty six. Okay, so it, probably early fifty six, probably. Yeah, I would, I would guess. Yeah. Before he really blows up, because he has fifty six is his huge year, and he starts to really blow up about February or March uh, of that year. So I, I'm sure this was a huge deal to have Elvis sign this. Yeah, it was. He was, uh, you know, at that point of that picture, I guess he was. It was a good year for him, iconic year, if you will, Mm -hmm. because he uh, was well-known, at least throughout Tennessee. Right. And so, and through Memphis, particularly, since he was a homeboy, if you will. Right, right. Well, did you, uh, did any of your friends, like, go crazy after they saw this picture? Oh, yeah. You know what? People still go crazy when they see that picture. Wow. I love it. They do. I love it. So, I've, um, you know, had a really active life in my in my day i've never really stopped but people will say you know you go to like a group party and they'll introduce yourself tell people something that they don't know about you right and i said i knew elvis presley and that just blows their minds <laughs> it does <laughs> Yeah, if you look far enough on my Facebook page, there is that picture. Because my, all my kids have a picture of it. Yeah. All my grandkids have a picture of it. And they just all go crazy. And, 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 yeah, and hey, and you're very, you're very pretty in this picture. So, hey, I was wondering if Elvis flirted with you. Uh, a little bit, yeah, he did. He actually, did flirt with you. Nice. <laughs> I could actually send you a new picture. Okay, well, hey, could, would you do that so I can include that in the story, if that's okay? Oh, I have a picture of me today uh, at 85 years old. 85 <laughs> years old, yes, ma'am. That's awesome. 
Well, man, you know, I, I'm just I'm just glad to be talking to you. You know, I'm glad to to be able to find you and uh, and you know, because we're about learning the true stories of Elvis Presley, and, and and you know, of course, you didn't know Elvis, but you have a great story with him and Dewey Phillips, and not yeah. many people have that. So oh, I loved I loved Dewey Phillips show. I mean, he he was so good. He was great. Yeah, he se- um, he seemed like he was a big character. Right. I say in this picture was taken in the fall of 56 i think sometime in late october okay taken in the studio of whbq in memphis and then the publicity campaign uh, yeah so if that's fall of 56 and elvis is huge at this point yeah. Elv- elvis is a star among yeah. stars yeah and the picture appeared in the commercial appeal on the first page of the newspaper yeah. there was a close-up shot of just elvis hands signing the postcard <laughs> with a caption whose hands are these Who's the actual handed? picture with the accompanying article appeared on an inside page yeah, and on the on the picture that I'm looking at, it has like it's you, Dewey, and Elvis, and down there where Elvis's hands are, I guess it has the postcard, and it says those page one hands. Yeah, so the picture was in our uh, the 1957 edition of the Memphis State Yearbook, which is called the DeSoto, and then I talk about the Cat's Drugstore story. Back on, they performed on the back of a hay wagon. I kid you not, a hay wagon. So let me ask Elvis you about that. Iron Dog and Blue Moon of Kentucky. But, so this was in the fall of 1954. Yeah, that was right there at the beginning. So, so was that at the very back of that store? Yeah, I think if I recall correctly, that store was like one of the anchor stores of that shopping center, mm-hmm. and it was kind of at the corner. What? And so it, it wasn't by the front door of it, but the I think the there were two outside walls and it was so on one of the side walls well what i'm going to do in the parking lot what i'm going to do is when you send this uh to my email i'm going to email you back this picture and i'm going to also email you back a picture from behind that building where i think that that uh flatbed truck was set up and i'll let you i'll let you look at that picture and see if it jogs your memory and if you could tell me not trey it was right here (laughs) you know since you were there And you said it was not a big crowd. You said it wasn't a big crowd because, you know... No, I mean, there wasn't 100 people or anything like that because it was 1954 and and hardly anybody knew who he was. Right, right. I heard they had like a big Indian like statue out front of the store. Yeah, they did. That's great. They did have have a great... And that that was... Stayed there. I mean, that was part of the ambiance, if you will, of that shopping center. Yes, man. For years. Yeah, I wonder where that thing is now. I guess we need to find where that's at. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know if there's still that shopping center that's still there. It's still there. The building is still there. Is there, because what I told this person, who I don't remember who I said this to, but uh, later they changed the name of that cat to Osco. Osco, And then okay. CVS. So CVS is a, used to be Cat's Drugstore, yay, way back in the day. See, I didn't know that, so that's more information, okay? Information, but it's it's been awesome to talk to you because, when I, like I said, when I saw this picture two weeks ago, I said, I have to find you. I know you're here somewhere. Yeah, this is incredible. You're in a picture with Dewey Phillips and Elvis Presley in 56. Yeah, yeah, well, that was my, I guess, my one claim to fame with a celebrity. Well, let me ask you this. How long did it take for the, the governor and them to... Um, I guess that I guess this helped make Memphis State College Memphis State University. Is that correct? Yeah, I for, yeah I heard it one time, and you know I tr- truly couldn't give you the numbers, but it was a very successful campaign. Yeah, and it didn't take long once all those postcards were collected and sent in. So that was in the fifty six, mm-hmm. and in the fall so I'm guessing sometime in 57 the governor you know went through the legislature and the governor signed it because 1958 was the first class from Memphis State to have university status okay so yeah so so you you definitely helped spearhead that yeah so I was in that uh graduating class of 1958 1958 wow that's great that's great so i guess somebody was smart enough to contact uh somebody in the elvis world 
and uh, you know that was close to Elvis to get him to do this picture. <laughs> I'm sure. Yeah, I'm not sure how that all came about, but uh, it probably was, went through Dewey Phillips and WHBQ. Yeah, they probably did. Uh, I think you know because I was a journalist of major back then. A lot of my friends, uh, classmates, if you will, I think maybe worked at radio stations. In fact. I didn't work at that radio station, but I did an internship at a different radio station there in Memphis when I was a senior at Memphis State. So, well, did you ever uh, know uh, George Klein? I, yeah, I did. Yeah, I was real close to GK. Really? Yes, ma'am. He was wow. a yeah. He was an awesome guy. Huh? Yeah. yeah some of those. Do you uh, know the name Wink Martindale? Wink Martindale. Yeah, I, know, I I've met him before. Yes, I was on a TV show or radio st- show several times while I was in college. Okay, they're in Memphis. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, in Memphis, yeah. But uh, so, well, what what did you do on the uh, Wink Martindale show? Uh, he just interviewed me two or three different times, and I actually I did a lot of work reading stories to kids back in those days. And at one time, he had me read some little kid book <laughs> live on television. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow, that's great. Mm. Maybe I can find that clip. I'll include that in the video if I can find well, it. Well, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know. You might. <laughs> you know, it was, I, again, I, it was in the year, it was probably in 55, 56, 57, that time. Right. Probably, yeah, in that time frame, so. Well, I really, uh, is, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see what I can find, because you never know, I can find stuff. Well, I guess you can. <laughs> I can find stuff. I knew I was going to, you know, any time I call, I, I like to call people that like like you that have a picture with Elvis, and sometimes you might not even have thought about it in a while, <laughs> you know, and I'm sure I shocked you a little bit. But, well, uh, you know, it's really funny because every now and then that picture surfaces, and I don't know where it surfaced from, I think, because it is on my Facebook page. If you, I could, you probably can't drill down to my pictures, but, uh people that I run into at my church for example just last year this our our choir director came up and he said you're famous I said what are you talking about he said you knew Elvis and I said yeah I got your picture and then it went all through our church she knew Elvis Presley yeah now and everybody wants wants to hear the story (laughs) yeah and they did well how did you how did that happen you know and yeah. So it was just uh, not a planned event, but it was certainly uh, an interesting, interesting for me. Oh yes, ma'am. And like you told me, you know, somebody was like, "Hey, can you be in a picture with Elvis?" And you were like, "What?" <laughs> okay. So it was just something that fell into your lap just one day when you're just living your life. <laughs> exactly. So I hope you've enjoyed that episode. I appreciate Judy for sharing her story with us for us to have about Elvis Presley, the day that she met Elvis and Dewey Phillips there at the uh, Chiska, where the radio station was located, and Elvis put his name on a petition that helped make Memphis State a university. That's why we have now Memphis State University. Elvis Presley helped make it happen, and now you know. So guys on Double Dribble, subscribe to Glow Trotting with Trey if you haven't already to stay updated with every new Elvis episode that I upload each Tuesday, and special episodes here and there. Till next time, guys, I'll see you down the road. Thanks for watching.